Hi, I'm Dr. Nikki Kay, and I'm the author of Hormones, Health and Human Potential. And I want to talk a little bit about hormone dilemmas. The one I want to focus on right now is the dilemma between PCOS and PCO. These are actually uh, faux amis, so false friends. So whilst lots of people, you might assume these are the same things, in fact, they're very different. So PCOS stands for polycystic ovary syndrome. And in order to be diagnosed with PCOS, you must have two out of the three of the so-called Rotterdam criteria. These are number one, irregular menstrual cycles. Number two, biochemical or clinical evidence of high levels of androgens, particularly testosterone. And on ultrasound, pelvic ultrasound, evidence of multiple follicles present in the ovaries. The syndrome uh, comes into effect because in addition to having two out of these three uh, signs and symptoms, also PCOS is associated with insulin resistance. In other words, a little bit like type 2 diabetes. Now, PCOS is relatively common amongst women. However, there are other situations, conditions where you might have the appearance of PCOS. In other words, a woman may have irregular cycles. She may even have slightly raised levels of testosterone. And if you do an ultrasound, lots of follicles. This, is, this could be due to changes in the timing of hormones as associated with the teenage years, puberty, and or in restoration of low energy availability and restoration, therefore, of regular cycles. For this reason, you cannot diagnose a teenager as having PCOS because it could just be a physiological transition. Similarly, in someone recovering from REDS, relative energy deficiency in sport, and FHA, functional hypothalamic amen amenorrhea, as the hormones reboot, there may transiently be a mistiming, in other words, slightly high levels of testosterone and even multiple follicles. However, it's very important, in fact, crucial, to distinguish between true PCOS, the syndrome, and the appearance of polycystic ovaries or multiple uh, follicle ovaries, PCO, because the management is very different. It's like chalk and cheese, as my ballet dancer used, uh, teacher used to say. So on the one hand, PCOS might need some uh, personalization in terms of uh, amount of carbohydrate uh, and also exercise. On the other hand, someone who is trying to restore their menstrual function following low energy availability, you will actually be encouraging them to increase and maintain their intake of carbohydrate and moderate the intensity of their exercise. That's why it's very important to distinguish uh, between these four zemi.